in any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of the wind. The receptionist will then walk off as if you weren't even there. Follow the receptionist. After five minutes of what seems like aimless walking, the receptionist will begin the whistle. If it is a tune you recognize, then continue to follow the receptionist. If you do not recognize the song, try to remember the better times of your life, as from there out, you will know nothing but the endless pain of your own personal hell. If you find yourself humming along to the tune, the receptionist will turn to you and point to a room on your left. Enter the room. Inside is a wide prairie filled with endless knee-high grass. The first thing you will notice is a warm, gentle breeze playing over your face. In the distance, you will hear a faint whispering sound. If you do not hear the whisper, run out the door and close it behind you, or the peaceful prairie will become your final resting place. If the whisper persists, close the door and it will disappear. Follow the whisper as best you can. After a few steps, a young man will rise out of the grass, clothed in simple farm clothes. The man only knows the answer to one question. What carried them away? The man will tell you a lazy tale, a story filled with illusion and deception, dulled by his accent. You will start to become tired and may want to lay down and sleep for a while in the comfy grass. But do not, for if you do, you will never awaken from your slumber. Once the man is done rambling, he will ask you a question. Do you really want it? The laziness induced by the scenery will make you want to say no, but resist and take the wind chimes he offers you. The door you came in will then appear in front of you, allowing you to leave in peace. These chimes are object 33 of 538. When the wind causes these chimes to sound, another object is near, as is the end of all hope.